Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create a border around the text view. So by the end of this tutorial, we're going to have an app that looks like this. You can see I have a text view. It's, there is a label inside the text view and the, there is a border that actually surrounds this text view. And that's what we're going to learn in this tutorial. Alright, so open up Android Studio. And then the first thing that we need to do here is we need to add the text view inside the layout file. So go ahead and open up the resource layout and double click on the activity underscore main dot XML file. Okay, so inside this file we have linear layout and inside this linear layout is where we're going to add the text view. Alright, so choose the text field, drag it to the screen here. Alright, now let's change the label to codingdemos.com and let's increase the text size to 30 SP. Let's change the width of the text field to wrap content. And let's position this text view in the center of the screen, center top. And we'll do it by Android. Layout gravity. And we'll choose center. Okay, so we're done with the text view. Now, in, to be able to show the border, we need to create a drawable folder. So, where can we create the drawable folder? You go ahead and open up the drawable folder here and right click and inside this folder we're going to create a drawable file. So go to new, drawable resource file and inside this, inside the file name we're going to call this text view underscore border and click OK. Alright, so we have the file here, text, text view underscore border XML file. Now, how we can edit this file is by going to the text tab here. You click on that, and let me close this. Well, let me just reduce the size so that we can actually see whatever output based on whatever we write here. Now, the first thing that we can do in the, the first thing that you need to do in this file is change the, the selector, the root type. So instead of selector, we want it to be a shape. So that's the one. We have the shape. The second thing that we need to do here is we need to uh, set the type of shape, which shape, which type of shape the, that you want to use. Uh, to do that, you go towards the end here. We are still inside the this. You can say bracket or curly bracket, but we're still within that. And you do enter and you choose Android and then we have a shape so Android shape and we have these four options you're going to choose the first one which is rectangle then after we've selected the shape the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, set some sort of a border around the text first thing we did is we have chosen the shape we have chosen the shape of the of the border the second thing is we need to choose the, the thick of the border as well as the, the, the color of that thickness. And to do that, we will use stroke. And inside here is we're going to specify the, the color and the width. So we do the color and we're going to choose one of the colors from the colors.xml file and for that we will use color primary and then we're going to set the width so the width basically represent the thickness of the border that will surround the text view and we choose width and here we're going to give it a value of 4 dB 
Now you can see, let me just close this. Now you can see whatever changes that we do on, on this side here, on the left side, we can actually see the output on the right side here. So we've chosen the color, and you can see this is the color that is used for the stroke or the border that's on the text view, and we have set the width as 4 dp, which represent the thickness of the border. So if let's say you're interested to increase the thickness, so instead of 4 dp, you want it to have it as 8 dp. So you can see whatever changes that we do here, it will show up on the right side as an output. So if let's say you want to increase that to 10 or even 12 dp. So you can see the more you increase the, the value of the width, the thicker the border will be. But for this example, we're going to revert back to 4 dp. Okay. Now, for the colors, right, I have, I have the three colors which are already inside the notepad here. So I'm just going to copy them and I'm going to paste them inside the values colors.xml file. Double click on that. And I'm going to replace these colors with the colors that I got from the notepad. So let me just oops. Let me just correct these errors because they are, they are copied from the notepad. So you got these unwanted characters. Okay. Alright, so we fix this. Now go back to the text view underscore border XML file and we have the red color as the color primary because we have the color primary set right here, which is a red color. Okay, so now we're done with the with the border text view. Now to be able to use this file inside the text view, you need to go back to the activity underscore main dot XML file and inside the text view here is we're going to do Android background and we're going to look for the file which is text view underscore border and that is the file. So if you look at the right side here you can see the border is actually applied to the text view. Alright now let's increase the sorry let's give this a padding because you can see the the text view is too close to the the side edges of the border and to do that we will use Android padding Android padding and we'll give this 10 dp okay now it looks much better all right so we have the text view and we have used the, the text view underscore border as the background and the only thing remaining is run the app and let's see how it looks like on the emulator so I have my Nexus 5 here running Nexus 5X, click on OK alright so the app is running and you can see here we have the output we have the text view which is this one and we have the the border that is surrounding the text view. Now let's let's in, let's give this a margin from the top there, because you can see it's close to the to the to the toolbar. And to do that, we'll go back to the text view, and we'll give this a margin top, and we'll give this 30 dp. Now if we run that, run it again. Go back to the emulator. And we should have the 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 correct output. Okay, so you can see here now it looks much better. So we have the text view and we have the border that is shown in the text view. All right, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. As always, if you need any help, do email me and I'll do my best to help you out. Again, thanks again for watching and happy coding.